Hey y'all, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap, where last time we defeated our first boss, the Big Green Shoe. We got our first element, the Earth Element. We learned a brand new sword technique, which we're going to need to progress. The spin attack, of course. Always get that one. And thank you, goodbye. We were introduced to the main side quest of the game. In fact, I would go as far as to say it is the side quest of the game. Kinstone Fusion. Now, there are a hundred Kinstone Fusions in this game. I don't know that I'm going to be getting them all, but I will be getting as many as I can to get at least all the heart containers. You can see here, I've been doing a little bit of Kinstone farming, and I have three different varieties of green Kinstones. Green Kinstones can be found by cutting bushes or grass. You're, that's where you're going to find them most often. Sometimes you'll find them in chests. Blue kinstones you will sometimes find by cutting bushes or grass, but you're going to mostly find those in chests. And there are two varieties of those. There are three varieties of red kinstones that are almost exclusively found in chests. And then there are gold kinstone fusions, which you're not going to be using for rewards. You're going to be using those to progress the story. Um, those come in a variety of shapes. I'm not sure how many shapes they actually come in because it kind of seems to be story dependent. As I said, there are a hundred of these. I've been farming some of these that we have right now because according to this guy that I've found, you can get about 22 fusions if you have this quantity of these three types. You need at least five of the zigzag, I believe five of the square, and six of the triangle. So I have plenty. And uh, that's pretty much gonna be the bulk of this episode is going through and doing kinstone fusions. Now, I am going to say that the original audio for this episode was lost. I am doing this in post-commentary. So that's going to be as smooth and natural as it always is because I absolutely hate post-commentary. We'll see how well I do. Now, this list I have is not particularly thorough. Because the thing about Kinstone Fusions is different people can have the same fusion, depending on where you are in the game. Oh, there you go. We have a fusion right here. Uh, question marks refer to different special events. So anytime you see a question mark, an event is going to be unlocked. But Dottie here could have the same fusion as someone else entirely different depending on the position in the game and who I have access to. So I'm not going to have access to everybody at the same time. Um, depending on how many dungeons I've done, some people might be entirely different. What did Dottie get us? Okay, Dottie got us a treasure chest. Interesting. I thought question marks were events. I might be wrong about that. Maybe I shouldn't guess that. Right there, what? Around where we... Yeah, a little bit south of where we uh, met uh, Ezla. So, the big thing about going and doing fusions is... Some people will have strictly defined fusions that they will always have no matter what, because you always have access to them. But um, the other ones can be kind of random a little bit. So, you kind of have to go rub your face on everybody to see if they have a thought bubble. And they want to fuse kinstones. And, yeah, you can see me flipping back and forth between the kinstones. That's really the D-pad there, kind of skipping where I want to stop. I'm kind of getting used to that. Alright, where does this one end up? Another one in the Minish Woods. Probably another treasure chest. And this one... We're not going to be getting for a while, because we can't get past that puddle. That's, like, we need the flippers for that. So, no dice there, but we'll be able to get that in the future. Um, there's one for- yeah, that house is still, uh, occupied, or er, inaccessible. There's one particular kinstone fusion that you can do early on in the game that you absolutely want to do. This is not it, but a piece of heart would not go amiss. What are you going to want for this piece of heart? Okay, you want a red kinstone, and I don't have that yet. But I should be getting red kinstones as rewards from these green fusions. If I find the right green fusions, 
Uh, they should lead me to a treasure chest with a red kinstone that I can probably use for that. What are you going to want? Alright, you, you want a green zigzag. What are we going to get out of this? That's the thing about kinstone fusions. Um, not only do you have to have the right color, you have to have the right shape. So it can be a little bit frustrating if you've got just... Okay, this one's next to our old house. It can be a little bit frustrating when you get a red kinstone out of a chest and you go, Oh, cool! I got red kinstones! I could use that for this fusion! And then you look at it and you realize it's the wrong shape. That's entirely a person. Yes, I understand. It's it's there. Thank you. South Harbor Field. I'm probably talking about something very important here that re requires this map to be shown for this long. That's why I don't like post-commentary, because, um... When I'm doing commentary during an episode, you know, obviously I've got a plan of what I'm talking about, but then I go through and post-commentary and like, what was I thinking? What, what was I even doing here? Okay, you can kinstone fuse with the animals, but I believe that you have to be a minish for that. I just wanted to double check that, but yes, there are fusions with the animals as well, which is kind of nice. Um, generally... Come back here. No, you don't want to fuse. Generally... Okay, the library is still closed. Or the end is still closed. Um... Once you fuse with somebody, they're not going to want to fuse again for a while. Okay, both floors are closed. I wasn't sure, so I was checking that out there. Sometimes they may want to fuse again when you go in and out of the town. Sometimes you may have to collect a reward. Sometimes you're not gonna they're not gonna want to fuse again until um Okay, so he has the he has a fusion and the kinstone for that fusion is down here. Uh sometimes they're gonna fuse again until later in the game. And there's not much you can do about that. But as I said, the fusion that the mayor wants is right there. So this is an easy fusion to get. He gets you a pretty decent reward, but we're not going to have access to it for a while. We're not going to have access to it till after the second dungeon, I believe. But there we go. First red fusion of the game. The way it goes. And yeah, I didn't read Ezlo's voice. I'm not going to be reading Ezlo's voice lines on this episode just because... Eh, some of them are really very repetitive, and I really just want to talk about. So that's at Lon Lon Ranch, and, and Lon Lon Ranch is closed for us. I just want to talk about, you know, what you need to know about this episode, and what we're doing. There's an old legend that something bad, big will happen when the bell rings. Okay. Uh, I can't go to school. I don't think you want to fuse. You do not. You still don't want to fuse, get out of my way. We can't actually get past these guards until we absolutely have to. We Okay, you want to fuse, what do you got? Uh, the guard in the west will not let us pass until we learn the spin attack, and he will, I believe he will direct us to Spinblade's school, or at least somebody in the area will direct us to Spinblade's skull. School. Wow, that's a weird sentence, and it's just getting weirder the more I say it. Um... But he will not pass until you prove that you know this spin attack. Okay, another reward near Lon Lon Ranch, and that one we're going to have to be minished for, but that's fine because uh, we're probably actually going to have the ability to be minished there before we ever get to Lon Lon Ranch. Maybe, actually. You know, I'm double-guessing that. You still don't want to fuse. That's why I'm checking people several times. Oh, hey, another warp, another, uh, warp stone. Uh, I'm trying to see if they want to fuse after I've done a few fusions. You will not let me go to the castle, which is kind of a pain. I actually want to go to the castle to do some more fusions. I'm going to be going to every area I have access to right now and getting as many fusions as I can out of the way. If you do... You don't want to fuse? If you do these first 22 fusions, they won't move. There's going to be a big event uh, pretty quick in the game. And a number of these 20, first 22 fusions are going to move if you don't get to them before that event. You don't want to fuse, but I think you actually tell me about Spinblade. You! You! I absolutely want to fuse with. Absolutely want to fuse Kinstones with as soon as possible. I need a red lightning bolt one. I don't have that. But I will be getting that. 
That is extremely important, and you can do that as early in the game as as right now. One of his one of the rewards that we got from those treasure chests will give us the kinstone piece we need to fuse with him. And you absolutely, positively want to do that. You get one of the one of the secret upgrades of the game, and you only have a limited amount of time to do it. I believe you only have until like the third dungeon to be able to do this, which sounds like a lot of time. Oh, so you've learned the spin attack. It's still dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Well, let's see how you do. Show me that spin attack. Yeah, that's the one. But there are monsters out there, kid. You just need to make sure you're careful. He didn't show you the spin attack. He went on my ticket. How did you get around the world already? Are you the Flash? Um, what was I talking about? Oh, wait. it sounds like a lot of time to do that until the third dungeon. I couldn't even promise it's the third dungeon. But you might as well just knock it out as quick as possible, because if you don't, you will lose access to one of the items in the game. It's not like it's a critical item, but it's, it's a really good item. And, and you don't want to lose out on items. Plus, you will get several rewards just for doing it now. Like, that's honestly sort of a heart container. That's probably one of the fusions that has the best um, rewards. All right, so if you check your map and you look at the tile that, you look at a particular tile and you can scroll the tiles up and down and side to side, um, you'll see where the fusions the rewards that you want, you can claim them. So they're always going to be on your map. You won't lose them. They're always be flashing too. So they're really hard to ignore. Still don't know which opens the chest. We get 200 mysterious shells. I, I'm probably not going to be tracking these publicly because this goes back to... So this is your house. Well, it seems like a nice place. So, where's my room? Uh, you don't get a room. You live on my head. Um, it goes back to the goddess cube, goddess chest problem in that... How do I track when it's actually claimed? Do I do that at the fusion, or do I do that at the reward? So, I am probably just track the ones that I, I've done on my own. I'll just keep a notepad or something open so I know who's done what. Even though it's not gonna matter that much, um, but as far as publicly, uh, yeah, probably just only going to be tracking heart pieces. Which, I did not know there were 44 of them in this game. I don't know, maybe I got spoiled by Skyward Sword, but I don't, I didn't really anticipate a handheld game having 44 heart pieces. That's a lot. And if it sounds odd, uh, it's 44 heart pieces in one full heart container from a very special kinstone fusion. Alright, so... Yeah, we're not going to be able to get that chest that's above us because we can't swim. But we can get that chest near where we met, as low. Absolutely want to do that. And then we can look around... Uh, Menace Village for some fusions. As so we take some free shots here. Shot, 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 shots. What is in this chest? Oh no! Juice! Never underestimate green shoe again. Alright, we got a red kinstone piece. I think this is the piece that we need for the stranger. I'm gonna double check that here. And it is. Even though the little icons show that it was a little jiggy jaggy one, that's just the standard sprite for. Yeah, here I am. I'm like, I'm gonna go fuse this immediately with the stranger. And then I'm like, eh, maybe I should just look for fusions in, in Minish Village while I'm here. Um, even though, like, it clearly showed that it was a, a, a jiggy jaggy one, that is the standard sprite for a kinstone. You will not be able to tell which kinstone piece you have from its sprite when you collect it. You're gonna have to actually go into the kinstone bag to see what shape it is. I actually really like the Kinstone Fusion minigame. I like this little side quest here. I think this is fun. Uh, 100 is a bit of an overkill. And I think the... Uh, how did I drown in dirt? 
Um, I think that the Kinstone Fusion replaced a lot of the gameplay. Instead of having more dungeons, five is a l very low amount of dungeons, even for a handheld Zelda game. And I feel like uh, most of the replay value was going to be coming from Kinstone Fusions and uh, figurine collecting. I think is where they thought a lot of people were going to be spending post-game hours, but yeah, people just kind of want to enjoy dungeons, right? Like, that's the meat and potatoes of a Zelda. You don't want to fuse... Because, again, I've said this a few times, that's one of the reasons why you don't want to fuse. I don't... I didn't enjoy Breath of the Wild as much as I did other Zeldas. It's a good game, and I had fun with it. Don't get me wrong. Um... But I didn't go absolutely crazy for it like a lot of people did. Like, I don't really care about Breath of the Wild 2. And that's because... That's me realizing that I was going to the same place. That's because um, it didn't have as many dungeons as I liked. And I really like... I mean, like, the shrines didn't really replace dungeons at all. Not in my opinion. I really like a structured dungeon environment where I get to... You don't want to fuse and... You don't want to fuse. Where I get to unravel all the puzzles one at a time and then, you know, get an item and test my skills. You want to fuse. What did you want? Alright, you want a square piece, which you got plenty of. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy Breath of the Wild too, but it's not going to be like the game I'm anticipating out of everything. You get me a hole in the ground. And a hole in the ground. Anytime you see a spark land on a blank space like that, especially if you're fusing with a minish, it's going to be a hole in the ground. I believe that almost always happens more often with minishes than it does with, you don't want to fuse, than it does with Halians. They always seem to open up a new minish area. And most of these red, red cat minish, these minish NPCs, they don't have fuse yet, which is interesting. So, I'm going to be probably having to go to Hyrule Castle or check more people in Hyrule Castle Town. I'm always going to call that that, even though it's only Hyrule Town, uh, to see if they have got new fusions. Because I really would like to knock out these first. Ooh, what happened there? These first um, couple dozen or so. You don't want to fuse. I'm actually surprised you don't want to fuse. I believe you're the last one to talk to right now. Alright. Oh uh, yeah, I actually decided, hmm, I'm gonna go check out that hole. And they're like, hey, hey this is probably gonna be faster this way. Or actually, no, I'm gonna talk to you. And they're like, is it gonna be faster to go this way? Or is it gonna be faster to go through the village to get back to that hole? And I'm like, all right, it's probably going to be faster this way. I forgot completely how long it is to get back around. I, I, I think I'm like a lot closer to the entrance than I actually am. Like, ooh, I'm actually, I thought I was actually a lot closer to the entrance than I actually am. I'm going to go through the village again. Like, sometimes I know what I'm thinking when I first record these, if I have to do a post commentary. Uh, a lot of the time I don't. A lot of time, I'm just like, okay, I know I wanted to talk about these things, I don't know when it happened, and then I do things like, why am I looking at this map screen for like, you know, 30 seconds? Clearly, clearly I was talking about something, but what was it that required me to be on this map screen for this long? Because I've probably, I think I'm just double checking this guy, yep. Because, like, I probably already remembered what I wanted to talk about, done it, and I'm ready to move on with this post-commentary, but, you know, clearly pre-recording me is not. Or, or pre-commentary. Actual commentary. What do they call that? I know this is post-commentary. Live commentary? Live commentary. We'll go with that. Alright, treasure chest. We get... I still... We can't open it on that side. We get a blue kinstone piece! Our first blue kinstone piece. I don't think we've actually seen a blue kinstone fusion yet. Could be wrong on that, but I don't... Well, besides the first one, you know, with the hurdy-gurdy man. Um, 
But yeah, I don't think we've seen a blue one yet. As far as rewards go, as far as like fusion rewards go, uh, if it's like a heart piece or a special thing, a special event, those are more off- can't, can't swim. Yes, thank you. Proving I can't swim. Those are more often going to be blue and redstone fusions than green fusions. Green fusions will usually give you things like rupees, mysterious hearts, other kinstone pieces that you can get better rewards with. Um, sometimes. Sometimes some fun things will happen with green kinstone fusions. And really, you know, I, I know it seems like I'm struggling to get the kinstones that I need for fusions. By the way, this is a fantastic area, these two screens that I'm going through. Uh, and then, like, the east of this screen. Great place to farm for green kinstones early on. Lots of grass and bushes to cut. I know it seems like I'm struggling to find the kinstone pieces I need to do these fusions, but believe me, we're going to be rolling in kinstones later in the game. We're, go we're gonna be have kinstones coming out every hole we've got. We, we cannot handle as many kinstones as they're gonna give us. Nothing in here. Apparently something I got. I forgot about it. Probably got that when I got bombs. Looks like it was bombed open. And there, there's also going to be something we can get. Um, something that you pay for. It's very expensive. But it gives you a limited amount of time to basically find everything you could possibly want. I don't know why I don't bomb that hole. That's what she said. Actually, she probably said, please don't. Um... It's a limited amount of time bumps. It's a limited amount of time, it only lasts maybe 30 seconds, but if you're in the right place, you can get much more than your investment. And it's probably one of the best ways to get kinstones. Especially, it, it even gives you red or blue kinstones. More rarely, but it will give you red or blue kinstones. And this is an example of a Minish portal in, in, uh, in town. That pot over there with the crack in it. We can actually meet Minish in town here. I forgot that this was already a portal that you could use. Also, the first time you use a type of portal, you can't skip the animation. It always shows you the full animation. From this point on, anytime we use a pot portal, we'll be able to skip that animation. That's right! Even some human objects are portals to the Minish world. This Minish may not look like much, but they are quite crafty. And we can't go any further because the shoe's in the way. But we can see a little Minish there. Hi, Minish. Alright, goodbye. We can't leave like this. I don't know if this is like an upper step we can't climb or what. It's kind of hard to tell from the texture. But, uh, Minish have to use their special doors to get in and out of big people houses. So, there we go. I actually really like the shoe shop. It's kind of a clever way to get a dungeon item. And I forgot entirely to check in here for fusions. And the hurdy gurdy man's got one for rupees. What do we got here? We got a square. Alright. There we go. Yeah, I completely forgot originally to check this cafe out. I'm bad. I just walked right past it. We get the treasure chest. Since that was rupees, it will either have mystery shells or rupees in it. Probably rupees. Maybe question marks and mysterious shells. Maybe question marks and chests with mysterious shells. Alright, you want a fuse. You want a diamond piece, that's fine. Plenty of those. Will we be able to get to this one anytime soon? That is... Um, soon's kind of a fluid term. That's not exactly blocked until late in the game, but it's not right now either. Alright, what am I standing here staring at people for? Alright, there we go. I think we're gonna go fuse with the stranger. Oh, I know what I was doing there. I was trying to keep track. Do you have a fusion? I was trying to keep track of everybody. How much is this? I believe this is now 300 rupees, which we're just shy of. The boomerang is real bargain at 300 rupees! I can't buy it. Um... Of course not. Um... I believe I was 
writing things to try to remember who all it already fused with in a notepad. That's probably what that pause was. All right. And now you want to fuse. Like, see? Ooh, you want a piece of art. See, like, sometimes, for some reason, people will want to fuse with you later. And I've got the wrong shape blue piece. And it's kind of hard to predict when it's going to happen. All right, that one's an easy one. I did not see what you want, or what you're gonna give me. But it's back in the Minish Woods. Should be able to get there. I believe that's right before the Earth Shrine, or the Deep Wood Shrine. Yep. Yeah, we'll be able to get that one pretty easily. <laughs> Your sales will triple. Well, you are the only broccoli s or uh, vegetable salesman in town. Neither. Oh, you want to fuse? I just walked right past that. I did not even check again. There's a fusion there. I didn't even notice it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I believe at this point I'm like, screw it. I'm going to go fuse with a stranger right now. Right? Yeah, here we go. Just checking to see if they got new fusions. All right. Welcome, stranger. All right. Perfect. Two constants fit perfectly. Something good will happen. And we get this rock that basically looks like the kinstone fusion we just made. Also kind of looks like a cracked egg. Okay, we're gonna check that out right now. Absolutely knock this out of the way. Again, this is one thing that if you don't do it by a certain point in the game, you will miss out completely on it, and you don't want to do that. That's why I'm, like, kind of obsessed with it. It's in a real easy place. Link, you get here, no problem. It's like the game wanted you to do this super early. As long as you know about it. Alright, just green kinstone piece. Just green kinstone piece. I am in your house. Goodness, we really rarely get visitors here. Tell me, how did you get here? Uh, you wouldn't believe that I told you. Nobody believes me, but I saw a ghost that's taking hold of Granddad. Hot wall. Hot. Groopy. And green kinstone piece. So three green kinstone pieces for coming up here. I can't believe old Gregel is sick. He was looking so healthy. I guess something just took hold of him. Yeah, I can see it. Apparently none of y'all can. In my youth, I was called Gregel the Grey. I was even a little famous. But lately, my limbs have grown heavy and I can't even stand up. Uh, well, we've got... I've seen Ghostbusters. Let's see if this works. Ghostbusters have never let me down. There we go. Well, well, well. Look at how the color has come back to his face. How can I ever thank you? I still have a hard time believing he'd been possessed by a monster, though. Yeah, I wasn't sure who was talking, so I was checking. What? An evil spirit had taken hold of me, and you drove it away? You... you might be right. I can already feel my energy returning. I'll be able to get out of bed soon. What's your name? Link? Thank you, my boy. You saved me. You got a hundred mysterious, mysterious shells. So, for that one fusion, we got a hundred mysterious shells and three green kinstone pieces. Plus, we got promise of a reward, or at least, you know, there's might be another reward later. So this is absolutely something that's worth doing. This is absolutely worth your time. Of course, we're not going to be able to get to our, the final reward for this until, like, I don't know, fifth dungeon? But anyway, we're going to call it an episode and post-commentary here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me likes, leave me comments. Remember to subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.